everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i have got um, a mess i've made a mess i literally the further on this video goes the worse i get <laughs> so i've got these these are brand new from nelchemy these are marbling no they're not they're metallic inks metallic inks and they do do normal colors but i chose the metallic ones because i thought wow these are a little bit unusual because they're metallic i don't think i've ever seen metallic inks before so i grabbed myself six of these these are six pounds 50 plus vat so it's a lot cheaper than i don't actually i don't know how much they usually are to be fair so just ignore me so the colors you get the pink one i just showed you the green one you have to shake them because i've been playing with these though so sometimes the the silver whatever the silver stuff is inside it, it sometimes settles at the bottom of the of the uh, bottle. So you need to give them a good shake before you use them. That blue is more of a bluey silver. Really nice for wintry nails, that one. Um, red. I was just seeing if some of the, the silver had settled on the bottom to show you, but I'd literally not long been shaking them and stuff. So um, gold. Gold. And um, this is my favourite one red copper this is the one we're going to predominantly use today but we also use gold and red so these are as i said from nelchemy i'll leave the link to their website in the description box below so they they're i'm going to use them over white colored gel polish but instead of wasting some gel polish i have got some white tips so what i'm going to do is they work best from the live they said they work best over um, on, on a non-white top coat even so i'm just gonna put some non-white top coat on this white nail tip and then i will cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds so this is the nail coming on white top coat um, i'm gonna do this on two nails and um, i do get another white tip out in a minute but i don't show you me doing it so these are the ones that i'm going to use and i'm going to start with this is one this is the one that I got. I've made so much mess. So um, I did mention it to Dave. Um, we had a quick chat via Messenger this morning and he suggested <laughs> using gloves when you use these because um, the lovely Carmel had made the same mistake I did. <laughs> so all I'm literally doing is putting some of the inks on and letting them disperse and do their thing. And as they start to dry, they kind of start to go like the metallic -y, the metallic comes out kind of thing. I'm, I'm not very good at explaining things. But literally, as you put them on, you can watch it almost go that metallic -y colour. So I'm literally just playing around with these three colours. But I do put more, the majority of red copper is, is the colour that I use mainly. And I use quite a lot of it. So normally the ink, well, they do air dry, they air dry. But because I use so much, it did take a little longer to air dry like over two minutes <laughs> but you can see the look that I'm getting I don't know if you if you put it in a in a lamp to you know in a, an LED lamp with a bit of warmth in it see look this was after a couple of minutes and it was still a bit wet so what I decided to do was look this is the mess that I got into and I, I, I accidentally, I always spill a bottle of gel polish and I managed to almost knock one of these over, but the lid wasn't on properly. So some of the ink sort of leaked out and it was just a nightmare. <laughs> right, I'm putting some base coat over this. And can you see that when I put the base coat on, it really intensifies that color. I'm putting base coat over the top because I want to put some glitter on it. Right, so this one is pumpkin patch. And this is from Nail Sugar. And if you want to get 10% off any Nail Sugar glitter, you can do so using code NATMUG10, all in caps. I'm also using this palette. This is from Nail Camille as well. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've cured the base coat and I'm going to stick some of the pumpkin patch glitter into this nail. But what I, what I decided to do as I went further down the nail, I thought it'd be best to take some of that uncured base coat and put put it where I want the glitter and then I put the glitter on top of the base coat and then if I feel like I need a bit more base coat I will go in with a bit more base coat see like I do it here so I put the base coat on first and then I put the glitter over the top and I just felt that worked a little bit better for me 
and then I'm gonna cure it in the lamp when I'm happy. And then when I come to top coat, it won't, even though I'd put the, yeah, cause sometimes, although the glitter is on the tacky layer of the cured base coat, sometimes it still moves around when you top coat. So this way I thought if I put some uncured base coat on and then cure the glitter onto that, it, there was more chance that it was gonna stay where I wanted it. Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> So I'm now gonna top coat the other nail because that has completely dried as well. So if you're doing this on a client, if you do like the inky nails first and then do everything else and then come back to the inky nails, it will have dried anyway by the time. But can you see like, literally as I'm putting this base coat on, the color just really comes to life. I didn't notice this when I was playing with it yesterday. I only noticed it when I was editing this video so for this one, I'm gonna use the black artisan gel paint. That was base coat I put on again. And over the top of this base coat, I'm just gonna draw a pumpkin face. And I'm gonna give him a smile, but we're gonna give him a creepy smile. So it's literally gonna be like a half moon, but a th not a fat half moon, like a, a crescent, like a moon, a crescent moon, but like a smile. <laughs> Am I making sense? Just give him a thin smile. And then what you want to do is just make some little lines coming out. These are just, these just, I just find these look like I've done a lot. They just look really good, but they're really pips. And then I'm going to create some eyes. And I kind of like them to look like frowny eyes. So I like them to have a V, like almost like they're, oh no, I'm rubbish at explaining. <laughs> Just watch, this is how I like my eyes on pumpkins. This first one was a little bit of a nightmare. So I kind of had to go, I had to kind of neaten up the outside. But I did get it in the end. And then, and then I'll just like literally repeat the same thing on the other side. If you wanted to, you could like make one eye quite big and one eye quite small. I like them to be pretty much the same size because otherwise even if I wanted them to look, one to look big and one to look small, I'd be worried that people probably thought that I hadn't done it on purpose. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're gonna repeat that. Okay, so that's where we are now. And I did one of these yesterday as well, but I decided that today he needed like a little nose. I don't know what that was. I think that was my little boy. Just popped up there, there we go. So we're gonna cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds because the artisan gel paints take 60 seconds to cure. And then I am going to use Onyx on all the other nails. I'm gonna apply two thin coats to the nails. And I'm only gonna show you me doing the first coat because the second coat is exactly the same. The normal gel polishes that Nail Can we have cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. So it's just, the, it's just the artisan gel paints and the 4D sculpting gels. They cure for 60 seconds, but I think everything else... Oh, and the total um, crystal totalist, that takes 60 seconds. But all their normal gel polishes and top coats take 30 seconds. So on two of the black nails, I'm going to apply the velvet matte top coat, which you all know is my most favourite top coat in the whole wide world um, if I want a matte nail. Not only does it make the nail matte, it doesn't, if you've got a design underneath it, it doesn't like smear that, it doesn't make it smudge underneath. And you're left with a beautiful velvet finish as well, which I absolutely love. And the non-white top coat is gonna go over the pumpkin nail and the, like the glittery marbly one. I was gonna put some glitter on the pumpkin, but I felt like I decided I felt I decided not to because I'm going to do a whole glitter nail because I love that pumpkin patch glitter. I don't think I've used it yet actually this autumn. Oh, got a hair. I think I think that's Gloria sending sending hairs, you know, because she can't. She's not in this video. And she's probably like, you know what? You're going to have hairs, whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to put some base coat again. My dog's chewed that. It fell on the floor and I didn't realise that my dog had chewed the bottle. Um, this is going to be, yeah, right, so we're not going to cure this. We're going to pop this on, and we're not going to cure it. 
and I'm going to take some of the pumpkin patch glitter and I'm literally just going to sprinkle it on that uncured uh, base coat. I forgot what it was then. <laughs> I'm just going to neaten up the edges. Look how disgusting my hands look now. There's no more ink on my hands other than a little bit left on my th on my little finger. Oh my god, honestly, it was so bad. Um, I'm going to pop that in the lump to cure. And then over the top of that, I'm going to take some of the Crystal Clear Build Gel from Nelchemy. Again, this is one of my favourite builders in a bottle. The consistency of their builder gels is just perfect for me. Which is why I don't like to use it in videos much, because I like to save it for me and not the videos. <laughs> that sounds awful. So I'm just going to put this over the top of the glitter now, just so that you could apply two coats of um, top coat if you wanted to. Not two coats. Well, you could put a coat on, a coat of top coat. Um, just buff it or file it if you've got any pokey outy bits. And then go over it at top on, go over it again with top coat. But I just thought this would be easier. So I'm just going to hold it upside down just for it to, just wait for it to sort of level and settle. Doesn't take long. And then I've wiped off the tacky layer. And I'm just going to file down the sides just so that I've got no, no, um, rough bits and then I'm going to buff over the top so that it's nice and smooth even though it was pretty smooth anyway and then I will go over the top of that with the non wipe top coat and we get we get a little bit of a top coat in time because we get a nice glitter reveal on this one even though we haven't used acrylic so even though this isn't quite the same colour as the pumpkin or the marble nail, because I'd put some of this glitter through one of the marble nails, I just thought it would be nice to have a whole glitter nail as well. I love that glitter too, it's really nice. And then these is, these is the finished nails. I'm going to put them down and give you a close up. Ta-da! So yeah, I love that glitter. I really enjoy playing with the marbled, um, sorry, the metallic inks. I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing or you'll turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> See you tomorrow.